lovely, lovely imps, today we have witnessed history. Today we have witnessed an incredible moment captured in real time. We have witnessed a moment in McCarthyist history. Behold! <laughs> Now, if you might be wondering uh, why I put up a picture of a old man with a distorted face, this is the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Kevin McCarthy. He's a Republican. And uh, Kevin McCarthy just uh, basically sat down with a giant he heaping and steaming pile of doo-doo and shoveled it into his mouth at, ra at a rapid pace. This man just ate absolute shit in front of the entire American public in the most embarrassing way possible. And it's been really, really funny, okay? I'm gonna give you guys, I wanna give you guys another update, okay? Just so you understand what the state of Republicans are right now, okay? Take a listen to this. This is from uh, this is from a Politico reporter. There is currently a group of House Republicans huddled and praying on the House floor. Representative Ann Wagner appears to be crying. That that actually happened today. Okay. <laughs> um, things are getting weird. Okay. Now, I'm going to try and make this make sense to you, okay? But there has been a long-standing beef between, uh, uh, particularly between Speaker of the House, Republican Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, and uh, 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 alleged, alleged uh, serial groomer and minor trafficker, alleged Matt Gates. Matt Gates, as you all know, is the man uh, who looks like he was brought out of Roblox in real time. Uh, he is the man with the squarest head, uh, so square, in fact, uh, that it has been said that he was uh, he was actually the model for the Mario Womps, those little blue guys that go. Arr! That was uh, his head, as as I've heard, um, and. Uh, Matt Gates really doesn't like Kevin McCarthy, and a couple of Matt Gates' friends also really don't like Kevin McCarthy. So they've been fighting for a really long time. And Kevin McCarthy was put in a, a very uh, odd position recently. Um, some of you may know that just a couple of days ago, uh, there was a risk of a government shutdown. Now, here in America, uh, this might not make sense to the people abroad, but here in America, we our government shuts down or comes at risk of shutting down like on a constant basis. And the basic reason for that is um, it boils down to Republicans are deranged and insane and they don't give a shit about anybody whatsoever. And so they will basically play uh, a game of brinksmanship with regard to the federal budget uh, if if they don't uh, if, if you don't accept their deranged terms and they justify this to their voters because um, They basically constantly say well government spending's bad and all that shit And so their voters don't get super mad about it, which means that Republicans can um can can actually make it really difficult for a lot of people. Um, it's difficult when when these uh, when these uh, shutdowns happen. Uh, not only does it uh, delay people's uh, payments if they are uh, if they are on some type of welfare, but if they're on pensions, if they're social security recipients, if they're employees of the government, if they're government employees of government contractors, it, it's a huge headache and it actually affects quite a lot of people. Now each shutdown has its own character and sometimes some things get shut down and other things don't but it's basically a giant waste of everybody's time and without fail every single time they eventually uh, do pass the budget this time um, the budget got passed like like literal hours before the shutdown was about to happen, like the government was preparing to shut down and just close all the offices and send everybody home. Um, and uh, 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 McCarthy, feeling uh, pressured to make progress, 
um, possibly because his constituents might actually be mad that there's been so many government shutdowns in recent memory, um, decided to basically do uh, a, a, an emergency meeting in the basement of, the, of Congress. So he called all of the relevant parties and they had to do a vote on a, a, a heavily revised budget at the last minute. Now, uh, the original budget that Republicans were calling for included, um, yes, yes, I will, I should note, uh, as, as Demo Boy says in the, in the chat, this is a good point, the budget that he voted on is a temporary budget. It only lasts for 45 days, which means America is going to be at risk of another government shutdown in November. Incredible, amazing, functional country. Everything works great here. It's all good and everybody's, there's all kinds of, the bipartisanship is a real thing. Um, anyway, um, uh, uh, McCarthy passed this temporary uh, budget for a number of reasons at the last minute and he was forced to accept uh, basically the, the Democrats version of the budget. The original Republican budget contained some really deranged anti-immigrant stuff in it, which is why, of course, the Democrats would not accept that budget because the the Republicans were basically like, "You, uh, we need to have a a, a a million more dollars to specifically kick immigrant children." Okay, I'm talking deranged stuff. Obviously, not literally to kick immigrant children, but they were putting in aggressive anti-immigrant stuff into the into the budget, and Democrats being. Well, I don't have a whole lot of love for the Democratic Party. Most Democrats are at least like mostly human, whereas the Republican Party is a bunch of uh, like semi-coherent ghouls who follow the will of Donald Trump no matter what, okay, and are racists. Um, and if that makes you mad, uh, suck it up. They suck, okay, and everybody can see it. Anyway, McCarthy decided to, to uh, f figure out how to pass a temporary budget so that he wouldn't get in a, in a bunch of trouble for a number of reasons. And Matt Gates decided, I'll just call him a cuck. And so he did. So Matt Gates and his friends said, look at this cuck. What a cuck. He accepted the Democrats' uh, fairly reasonable temporary 45-day uh, budget, and he sold us all out. What a stupid cuck. And, uh, and that's basically been the conversation for the last few days. Until Matt Gates says, you're such a cuck, I'm going to figure out how to get, kick you out as Speaker of the House. Now, the way that this mechanics work is fairly complicated and I'm not going to get into it, but it's basically a giant middle finger, okay? Because the way that kicking out the Speaker of the House works, vacating the seat, it means that you have to have a majority vote, which is very difficult to do uh, when there is a small, when there is such a, a, a tightly locked House of Representatives, okay? So you got your Democrats and you got your Republicans, which means if you want to kick out the Republican Speaker of the House, you have to have a certain amount of Republicans who go along with you. And most of the time, Republicans are not going to bend over backwards to screw over their own party on behalf of the Democrats. So the Democrats can never really get enough votes to oust the Republican Speaker of the House, except when Matt Gates says, you're a dumb cuck, and then decides to get eight of his little buddies to go side with the Democrats. And that is exactly what happened today. And I wanna show you guys something really funny, okay? I just wanna show you guys something really, really funny, all right? Hold on. I, I, I had this up before, but I accidentally closed the windows, okay? But here you go, all right? Take a look at this, all right? This was, October 2nd. So this was yesterday. All right. Kevin McCarthy, Speaker McCarthy, bring it on. You're going to have to change that at my bro. You're going to have to change that at because it just went really bad for you. It just went really goddamn bad. They brought it in the most petty way possible. 
eight Republicans flipped and voted with all of the Democrats. All of the Democrats obviously are going to, the, listen, the Demo we give the Democrats a lot of hell, and we should give the Democrats a lot of hell because that's the that's the, the way you got to do things. But Democrats are smart enough to know when they can damage the opposing party in an effective way by you know ousting the speaker in the middle of uh, in the middle of an election cycle. And uh, so, of course, all of the Democrats voted to kick out Kevin McCarthy, and eight Republicans. All of them, as far as I know, are the super Trumpers. They're like the mega Trump cult, cult people. Um, they they flipped, and now the Republican Party has no leadership in the House. Kevin McCarthy is no longer the Speaker because of a because of a civil war in the Republican Party. It is so funny to witness. And it's also very emblematic of the current state of the Republican Party. The Republican Party is is like having a live heart attack. I've, I've talked about this a lot on my show, about how the current state of the Republican Party is basically like seizing on the floor because enough of the party is completely in the Trump cult that, that the rest of the party either has to completely uh, bend down and lick lick Donald Trump's greasy asshole or uh, they have to lose because there's so many people in the Trump cult that uh, that they can do things like this and it's wild because if you look at the pr and, and they, they have no path out uh, they tried to run Ron DeSantis they've tried to run uh, what's her name K Kirstie oh my god uh I always forget, I always mess up her name. Um, I can't forget, I can't remember her name. They tried to run Vivek, Ron, Ram Swamy. They tried to run Ron DeSantis, uh, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley. Why was I thinking of Kirstie? Uh, 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 Nikki Haley, they've tried to run like, they've got uh, Eric, Eric Scott. I, I, uh, they've got uh, Burgum. They've got like a million Republicans that have tried to rise up and Donald Trump still holds somewhere in the 60, uh, uh, Tim Scott, Tim St Scott. Um, uh, 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 they, they have, um, they have all of these people trying to run against Trump and Trump is still holding in the 60% of approval in polls for, for being the president. This is the guy who's been turbo indicted. The guy who's currently juggling, uh, uh, espionage charges, who's currently juggling fraud charges, multiple of them, who's currently judging conspiracy charges, juggling them, just, oh God. And yet he still holds the party by the neck, 60%. Uh, Ron DeSantis is pulling in at like, like 11%. It's, it's deranged. The Republican Party is in shambles. They are, it, they're shaking and their arms are flying off and, and, and shit is flying everywhere and vomit is flying everywhere. They basically sound like a uh, angry video game nerd joke, but in real, in like real life. It's ridiculous, it's, it's insane. huddling and cry literally huddling and crying on the floor of congress because they just got owned by their by by eight of their own members now keep in mind they're in a funny position because kevin mccarthy didn't exactly disavow trump kevin mccarthy has still fucking licked donald trump's feet constantly it's just he didn't lick him enough he wasn't enough of a of a simp so the result is this, that the Republicans are literally punching themselves in the face. And it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Again, like, oh my God, just. This, by the way, is a picture of him when the seventh vote started turning against him. This is actually the face he was making as he started to see the numbers go against him after he was on Twitter last night being like, bring it on, you'll never defeat me. Just wild. Can you imagine what it's gonna be like in, in like uh, McCarthy's house tonight? How 
it is good. Like, have you ever wanted to? Uh, have you ever wanted to see, uh, like a horrible person just brought low? If only, if only you could see inside Kevin McCarthy's house tonight, you're going to see a an old man ugly crying like a fucking eight year old. I bet he will eat like eight tubs of fucking ice cream. It's gonna be incredible. You're gonna see, there's gonna be pictures in like three days of Kevin McCarthy and he will have gained 20 pounds from eating like, what is it? Like like uh, 3,000 3, calories approximately to a pound uh, times 10. That's like what, uh, uh, 30,000 times a 300,000, 300,000. Oh wait, that would be like 100 pounds. Uh, whatever you get it 60,000 calories of, of, of chocolate ice cream are going to be consumed consumed in the Kevin McCarthy household over the next three days Absurd I'm not familiar with American Congress. Can they nominate Trump for speaker? Um, no, I don't think so uh, no, I don't believe so. Uh, uh, it's not about that. It, it just means that this is, it, like I said, this is a middle finger. All this does is hurt the Republican Party. It's Matt Gates and the, the Freedom Caucus, uh, his little buddies of Trump simps, basically saying, okay, you don't want to respect us, we'll put you in the cuck chair, and we don't care if it burns the rest of the party down with us. It's, it's, a, it's a game of chicken. Is that true? Gayfesh, you might be right. Gay Gayfesh says, I, I thought there's no technical rule saying that the speaker has to be a currently elected member of the house. It's just always been done that way. You might be right. Let's find out. Let's find out real time. Hold on, let's find out. The Constitution does not explicitly state that the Speaker must be an incumbent member of the House. It is arguably possible for a non-member to be elected. Oh my God. However, every person who has ever been elected Speaker in the past has been a member of Congress. So it's never happened, but technically you could. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh no. You know who they should do? They should they should nominate Mike Pillow. <laughs> oh my god. I should I should I should submit, yeah, to be the speaker of the house. Oh my god, it's incredible. This has been this has been truly amazing. <laughs> okay, kind of true. Kind of true, Daedalus. Daedalus Media says, don't dignify this by calling it a Republican civil war. This is a, a Republican slap fight waiting in line that Raisin Cadence. Okay, that's fucking true. <laughs> this is like, uh, this is like, I don't know. This is like a food fight in the cafeteria, grade one. But, 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 it is, it's true it is, but also, like, but also, they're really screwing each other over here. Like, this does not help at all. Like, think about it. Um, think about how bad it would be if on the buildup to an election, to like, I mean, you, you, can you imagine if the Democrats were doing this when, like, Biden was about to run up against Trump? Can you can you imagine if something this ridiculous and stupid was happening? Oh my god. It's like just it's literally just completely screwing over their chances. It's 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 only going to damage them. It's no force the yeah, it would be like if they actually did force the vote. But no, because force the vote was after Biden was president. It would be like if force the vote happened while Trump was waiting to be elected, was like while, while the election was in process. Just wild.
Crab Navy General says that in the first speaker election, Trump's name was thrown in, but it wasn't taken seriously. Yeah, I can't imagine it'll be taken seriously. I, I can't even imagine... I can't even imagine that Matt Gates would want to do that. I don't know who they're going to put forward. I don't know what they currently... I don't even know if they have a plan. Maybe there's somebody who's been... I haven't seen any theories yet as to who's going to replace Kevin McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy didn't plan for it. Clearly, he was expecting to win this, and it didn't happen. We should we should nominate Dylan Mulvaney. Oh my God, they would lose their minds. But unfortunately, like there still has to be a vote on it. Yeah, wild. Anyway. Uh, I just thought it would be funny to talk about this and to enjoy the uh, the wackiness of the current state of affairs in the United States. The Republican Party genuinely falling apart in real time, genuinely struggling to even to even to even agree on basic stuff and just screwing each other over for fun. And the the McCarthy faction is just crying so hard. <laughs> God, oh, it's the Lincoln Project. The Lincoln Project is, is mad, is so mad about it. Oh, they don't have a chance. They're trying to push DeSantis, oh no. And it's failing. Their post has been up for two hours and it's only got 3,000 likes from the official Lincoln Project. Look at this shit. The Lincoln Project, with 2.8 million followers, tweeted the video talking about how bad the MAGA movement is and how disgraceful it is. 2.8 million followers, 3,000 likes in two hours. They're so owned. They're so, they're so owned. They've never been more owned. Oh no. Oh my, oh my god. Oh yeah, people of course are saying, yeah, Kevin McCarthy voted to overturn the election hours after January 6th happened. Like I said, Kevin McCarthy was still absolutely licking Donald Trump's uh, balls. But it just wasn't enough. It hasn't been enough. Has I wonder what I wonder if Donald Trump has said anything about it. Hold on. Oh, let's see. Is he has Donald Trump said anything about it on Truth Social? Oh, I wanna see. Oh, okay, he did say something about it. You want to see what Donald Trump said about it? Why is it that Republicans are always fighting amongst themselves? Why aren't they fighting the radical left Democrats who are destroying our country? That's it. <laughs> he literally sounds like, oh no! I didn't, oh no! Donald Trump! R right wing unity. Where's our right wing unity? Everybody just keeps canceling each other. Why can't they just agree with the nice people like Matt Gates? Matt Gates is a nice man. Why couldn't you just agree with him when he said that we needed to manually behead the children at the border? You could have just listened. But because you're too busy infighting on Twitter. <laughs> That's all that Rick Mark McCarthy got. McCarthy voted to overturn the election for Donald Trump. McCarthy agreed to go that far and he got nothing. He gets nothing but right. We should be right wing unity. Oh man, this is so great. Oh, it's so sad.
and then he's back to and then he's back to tweeting. Look, right after that, he goes back to tweeting. Donald Trump says, "It is so unfair that I'm being tried under Section 6312, which is unconstitutionally being used to punish me because I am substantially leading crooked Joe Biden in the polls. It's a consumer protection statute and not meant at all for election interference purposes, which is why this is which is what this is all about." Oh my God, nothing, literally no support. Just, I don't want to play with you anymore. Boom. Oh man. <laughs> Can you imagine, like I said, the i the 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 tubs of ice cream <laughs> this picture this picture is so good <laughs> ready ready for the whiplash boom 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 <laughs> holy shit Oh no. Oh, it sucks so much. Oh my god, it sucks so much to be a Republican. Oh. Oh man, the Dems are just fucking clapping the, clapping him right now. They're all just mocking him and talking about all the horrible things that he's done. This is such a huge win for the Dems. Oh, he, yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow, wait a minute, I didn't know this. This is the first time in history that a speaker has ever been vacated from office. Wow, so he literally made history. And also, it's been 140 years since a shorter term? Oh, man. I need, I need, I need my memesters in chat. I need you guys to make Kevin McCarthy making this face in the cuck chair, okay? Somebody out there, one of you with the Photoshop talents needs to make the cuck chair. And with this picture of Donald Trump, this like grainy fried image of Donald Trump like fading in from the background. I need that so badly. That is so bad. That is the most, that is, what a way to go down. <laughs> Kevin McCarthy right now, great. I don't have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> oh, here you go. All right, here's, hold on here. Here, I'll link the pictures that I'm talking about, okay? Oh my God, here's this one and here's the other one. All right, enjoy and have fun. Yeah, McCarthy just said, he actually just posted on Twitter, he's not, uh, uh, he's not gonna be, he, he says he's not gonna run again, which is, is, is probably smart, because it would only make his position worse if he ran and then lost. Killjoy asks, do you think the Republicans are gonna body the Freedom Caucus for breaking decorum and embarrassing the party? I know people hated McCarthy because uh, he's a chode, but it makes the party look really weak for a party that depends on aesthetically looking strong. Um, I don't know. They might, they, they probably will try, but I don't know how much they can do because at the end of the day, Donald Trump is their only shot. So what are they gonna do? Get, go and try and punish Donald Trump's loyalists and then get punished by Donald Trump? They're in a horrible position right now. They're just in a horrible, horrible position. By the way, if you're here and you've been having fun, please make sure that you press like down below. We love your likes. Your likes bring our channel into the glorious, uh, the glorious light of the sun. So press the like button if you've been having a good time. We're gonna talk about this for a little more. And then we got some really fun stuff coming up. We're gonna be doing uh, some debate review in just a minute, so.
Hold on, let me see what you said. Winby, thank you very, very much for the tier one sub. What did you say? Hold on. I missed it. I apologize. Let me see what you said. Give me a second here. Wait, I don't see it. That it wasn't on YouTube? I didn't see it. Hmm. Did it not show up? Sorry about that. I might have missed it. I might have missed it, Mistress Lynn. It's not showing up on my feed for some reason. Anyway, not to get too distracted. Um, I'll try and find it in a second. I apologize. Or you can send the text again if you want to. I don't know why. Is my feed broken? Anyway, I don't want to get too distracted. Uh, point is, uh, this is an incredible, incredible loss. A giant, a giant loss for... Um, oh, is it from earlier? Oh, okay, it's from earlier. I must have missed it earlier or something. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'll, re I'll read that in a bit. I'll get to that in just a minute. Republicans, uh, Momoka says, Republicans did not listen to Lindsey Graham's war warning. This is their undoing. What did Lindsey Graham say? What was his warning? What did he say? Did he say, like, be careful with Trump? They're dead if they vote for Trump? Yeah, of course. Donald Trump is, is, is a, he's a, he's a all or nothing guy. They either needed to 100% go in for Trump, but they can't because Donald Trump is a fucking psycho. Are you kidding me? Donald Trump humiliates people for the slightest bit, the slightest bit of, uh, of perceived disloyalty and he will dunk people in the trash and he's good at it too. He's really, really good at, uh, at, at making these people look horrible if, if he's mad at them. Here's the warning that ended up being true. Here we go. If we nominate Trump, we will get destroyed and we will deserve it from 2016. Dude, I never thought, I never thought Lindsey Graham, the, uh, the, the gayest straight man that's ever lived, uh, was, would be correct on something. Lindsey Graham's like, if we nominate Trump, we will get destroyed and we'll deserve it. I can't wait to see us get destroyed by Donald Trump. MB says, I just got here and why am I, and I'm so confused. Why did they even do this? Uh, Matt Gates and his buddies did this as a giant middle finger in order to say that Kevin McCarthy is a cuck. And the reason is be the reason the official reason is because he he uh, worked with the Democrats to pass a um, uh, uh, to pass a, a a budget a temporary budget so obviously they don't care that much about the budget but it's a convenient excuse um, they're trying to force the party further right they're trying to force the party to fall back in line with Donald Trump's most extreme positions. And and in a, to a certain degree, uh, well, I don't know if they'll succeed in it, but they've certainly done damage. And it's it is definitely I'm sure many of the Republicans are deciding whether or not they're going to just fall in with the MAGA cult now and call it good. Um, part of the reason that this has become so complicated is because Donald Trump is an incredibly inconvenient candidate for them. Donald Trump is is. Not only is he just deranged generally, but he's really risky. You see, um, Joe Biden clapped Donald Trump. And that says a lot because Joe Biden was not an exciting candidate for Democrats. Democrats hate Donald Trump so much that they're willing to go to the polls. They are like, Democrats have never been more activated. They are like, Democrats are excited to go vote against Donald Trump and against anyone they perceive as associated with Donald Trump. Like, uh, uh, all the resistance libs, you know, they're, they're, th some of their stuff is super over the top and cringe, but they're, they're kind of a, a, an accurate bellwether for the fact that Democrats 
they despise Trump. And so they're super active right now. And Republicans recognize, they're like, oh man, I don't, like Republicans know that they can't win an election against activated Democrats. There are more Democrats. There are more Democrat voters in the country, registered Democrats, than there are Republicans. Democrats will always win if people show up. And so Republicans are sitting there chewing their fingernails going, uh, uh, if we run, if we run the guy who's been indicted 947,000 times, if we run the guy whose rap sheet like unrolls like a Looney Tunes cartoon and rolls out the window, uh, what are the, the Democrats are probably going to get super active. Maybe we should try to, you know, try to change things so that we can, you know, you know, calm down the Democrat vote and maybe put, squeak out a win, but they can't. They, can't, they haven't been able to get away from it. Yeah. Oh my God, I didn't even see that. Gavin Newsom, Gavin Newsom and Ron DeSantis are gonna debate? <laughs> what? What are they what are they debating about? What what, what what are they what's the debate? What's the topic? <laughs> I do not like Gavin Newsom. I think Gavin Newsom is turbo cringe. It's gun reform and gun violence. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. All right, everybody. Listen, I don't have anything more right now to say about the uh, Republican party, except that they are in one of the most embarrassing states possible. It's an embarrassment for the Republican party and it makes the Democrats look by comparison like they have it together, which is wild to even think about. The Republican party uh, uh, is choosing the funniest path through history and we all get to sit and watch and enjoy well, at least until it impacts uh, in the lawmaking process and we all have to suffer, but it's at least funny to watch. Uh, if you had a good time, please make sure that you s press subscribe down below and make sure that you leave some comments telling me your thoughts about all of this nonsense down below. And uh, thank you so much for watching my lovely, lovely imps. Keep listening for the signal.